Let's have a look at plotting points to make a graph. You're very familiar with drawing up a table of values. Here we've got x being negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, all the way up to 4. And we're going to work out the corresponding y values when y is calculated by saying x squared subtract 9. So when x is negative 4, how do we work out what the y value is? Well, we simply substitute negative 4 into that formula. We'll get negative 4 squared subtract 9. Negative 4 squared is 16. 16 subtract 9 is 7. The thing that we're going to add on now is this. We've got an x value of negative 4, a y value of 7. We can write that as an ordered pair and we can plot it on the graph. We plot it on the graph, x is negative 4, so 4 steps to the left, and then y is 7, 7 steps up, and we get that little turquoise dot that is on the Cartesian plane. We can go through and do the same for all the rest of our values of x we have here in this table. So for negative 3, we calculate the corresponding y value. We see we have that coordinate pair, and we go ahead and we plot it on the graph. For x is negative 2, we do the same thing. We get the corresponding y value, and we then plot at x is negative 2, y is negative 5. 2 to the left, 5 down the pink point on that graph. x is negative 1, we do the same thing, and we have a coordinate pair which we can plot on the graph. When x is 0, we work out that the y value is negative 9, and we go ahead and we plot that on the graph. When x is 1, we calculate that. 1 squared minus 9 gives us negative 8, and we have a coordinate pair which we can go and plot on the graph. Carrying on in this way, we can plot all the points from our table on the graph. Now we can actually see that this set of points follows quite a nice sort of interesting looking curve. And we haven't plotted everything we could plot. I mean, we could go and work out what the y value is when x is a half, or what the y value is when x is three and three quarters, or what the y value is when x is five. So we could carry on plotting a whole lot of points. And if, they, if we did, they should follow the pattern of what we're seeing here. So I'm going to draw in the pattern of what I am seeing, and that is a graph that looks like that. So this is what I'm thinking, that if I actually went and worked out all those little points in between, I'd end up having as a picture. Now, I can ask myself some questions about this. First thing to notice is just when I've drawn up this graph, do you see there up at the top right hand, I've actually labeled the graph, showing that this graph shows all the points that are related by that equation y is equal to x squared minus 9. Now I can ask myself, are there points on this graph where the y value is 3? Well, y value is 3 is 3 steps up. So let's go and have a look. Is there any place on that graph where you're 3 steps up? Well, yes, absolutely, at that blue point over there. And we could, in fact, look in the other direction too, because that's also just three steps up. And we see that red dot is also a point where the y value in this graph is three. We can then try and see, well, approximately what x value goes with it. Because remember, for each of these points on the graph, there's an x value together with a y value. Here the y value is 3. What is the x value? Well, if I come with from that blue dot and just look at the x value that's going with it, it looks like it's about 3.5. We don't know it's exactly 3.5. It could be 3.6 or 3.4. We can't say for sure. And
And from the red, we can go down to the x-axis and see that the x value that goes along with that red point, where the y value is 3, is approximately negative 3.5.